Hey guys, good morning. This is actually going to be a little bit different of a video because the whole point, this is going to be a book review. If you're not interested in book reviews, have fun, but it's going to be a little different. I think it's going to be the start of a new series. I'm going to call it Books and Barbells. And um, I'm going to work out and I'm going to talk about a book review. And I know that's kind of weird, you know, but I think it's important. Your brain is a muscle. Brain's a part of your body. So exercising your mental health, mental strength, and physical strength, is, I think, is really important. So I'm going to call this Books and Barbells. And the book we're reviewing is the one I talked about in my last video. It's called Un Yourself. It's so weird saying that out loud. Um, so, stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it, Books and Barbells, commencing now. Oh my god, <laughs> good morning. Oh gosh. <laughs> morning, JJ. Hey, how are you? Okay, so to start this off, I just want to give a basic overview about what this book is about, and then later I'll get into the things that I took away the most from it. So this book, it's written by a guy named Gary John Bishop, and the whole, oh, okay, sorry, apparently they're sawing things next door, but deal with it. Gosh, that is annoying. And I accept the fact that there is a saw just going to town right next to me. It was, that was too loud. It was like driving me crazy. I was listening to the video and I was like, ooh, that's not good. Like, I, you're gonna definitely be able to. Okay, so the book, Unfuck Yourself, is written by a guy named Gary John Bishop. He's like a life coach, kind of helps people out. Um, but basically, the premise of the book is it goes through seven assertions that you can call, you can like say about yourself that will help you get out of whatever situation you're in, help you change your mindset, the way you think about things, and real quick, the seven assertions are I am willing, I am wired to win, I got this, I embrace the uncertainty, I am not my thoughts, I am what I do, I am relentless, I expect nothing, and I accept everything. I will get into the quotes and the chapters that meant the most to me in a little bit, but um, a first, like an overall review, I found it um, just randomly checking things out on Audible, so I actually listened to it, I didn't read it. Um, I listened to it to and from work. Um, it's a good amount of time where instead of listening to music and something like mindless, you can kind of get your brain going. Um, so, I listened to this book, it was really easy to listen to, it's also a really easy read, he didn't really say anything too like, deep, like, uh, like, like you have to like stop and reread and reread. There were a couple times where I would hit like the back 30 seconds so I can listen to a sentence again, but besides that it was a really smooth, like really easy, um, and it's kind of like just a no, like stop making excuses, stop thinking things should be a certain way and just accept what you're at, and then from there, being able to move forward. I wrote a couple notes that I want to make sure I get down. The subtitle of the book is Get Out of Your Head and Into Your Life, and that's pretty much exactly what the book is, is it's stop overthinking and thinking, well, because of this, I can't do this, because of this, I can't do this, because this person did this to me, this is why I'm this way. Like, get out of your head and stop making excuses and just act. Just move forward from that because you can do nothing to change the past. You can do nothing to change that situation, but what you can do from this moment on is move forward. And so that's the whole idea is like stop, stop telling yourself that you're stuck this way because you're not. You can move forward, you can change. And, and I resonate with that. Like that's something that, that speaks deeply to me because I'm kind of in the middle of this huge life like people who've been following my channel, you know, I'm in the middle of this huge, like changing things up. I wasn't happy where I was at. And so making the decisions and the points and the parts that are necessary to change and to move forward is a huge part of where I'm at right now. So that kind of spoke to me. That was great. What I liked about it was that it's got a lot of like stoic thinking involved. Um, I've, stoicism has really helped me just kind of see where I'm at and then move forward. Um, 
Stoicism was very big on you can't do anything to change what happened. And instead of saying, well, this is a bad event, just say this is an event and this is how I'll move forward. Um, it's very into that and there's nothing on the label that like says it's gonna be stoic so it was kind of like a, a pleasant surprise to see people like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus like show up in this book with quotes um, and so it, it does take that stoic mindset and it's not like self-help positive thinking I can do this I can do this I can do this I can do this I am great I am great I am great but it's kind of just saying like all right well that sucked now let's move forward all right I can't change that now let's move forward and it's all about after the situation, he calls it the aftermath. What do you do in the aftermath? Instead of just thinking about the situation, think about the aftermath. To be fair and to be honest, like you're probably not gonna get anything you've never heard before in this book. And that's one of the things, like it's stuff I've heard before, but there are times in your life where something you've heard before resonates like it hasn't before. And that's kind of like what this book did for me. Again, I'll get later into like the things that, that meant me to my life and my life specifically. Um, but sometimes in life, and this is just true for anything, sometimes we don't need something new. We just need to apply what works. We don't need something new, but something that works. And so for me, where I'm at in my life, these thoughts and these ideas, they work for me. So it was a good book and I definitely Definitely, if you're looking for an easy read, something that kind of jump starts your day, I would recommend this book. Now, I'm gonna work out and, and, I'll get back to you guys about the, the specifics of this book and, and what it meant to me. Cool. Okay, so for the lunch workout, it is um, snatches, which are always my favorite thing to do because of mobility. Um, but it's going to be a complex EMOM. It's going to be snatch pool. It's going to be a full squat snatch or a hang squat snatch and then an overhead squat. So, And then we're going to go from there into a 10 round wall ball and box jumps. This guy is making me do it. This is him warming up. Oh gosh. <laughs> Must be nice. So that was as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but not as long as I thought it was gonna be. So, not used to 30 inch box jumps, man. Totally different game. Okay, so what to get into like what I liked about the book and um, the things that kind of like stuck out to me. Without getting too much into my past, um, my childhood was one of um, drugs, alcohol, foster care, moving a lot. It wasn't the best scenario. It wasn't the best situation. Um, and a lot of the times when people come from this background, 
they kind of think that the universe, they, they can do whatever they want because the universe owes it to them. That they've had a hard life, that they've whatever. And so therefore now they get to lash out because that is their, their right. And that's taking a situation and making it bad. It's a situation that doesn't have any moral value to it. Yeah, I mean, it sucks getting taken away from your parents. Yeah, it sucks um, living in a house with drugs, with alcohol, without that, like, connected family unit. But um, there's two ways you can look at it. You can look at it like this is the life I'm gonna have for the rest of my life now because I wasn't set up for success. Or you can say my kids are never, ever, ever gonna deal with that and my life is not gonna be defined by that thing. And so this book, it resonates with me because it's looking at these external life events that happen to you and saying that those are not, what has happened does not have to be forever, right? That you have the choice of saying, my mindset is going to change. I'm going to work on positivity. I'm going to work on working hard and not assuming everything's going to come to me. Um, the two statements that I think stick out to me the most are one, I am not what I think, I am what I do. Because I'm up here a lot. And I'm always, I'm overthinking and then I'm overthinking my overthinking and then I'm overanalyzing if I'm overthinking. And I'm up here a lot and it, a lot of times it prevents me from here, you know, doing things. And so remembering that, yeah, I may live up here, but to everyone else I'm here. And what, what can I do for people? What can I do for myself? How can I act in a way to best set me up? And that was like a, a good like mental like, okay, that's right. And the other thing is the last one and it says, expect nothing by accept everything. Unhappiness comes when you have unmet expectations in your life. So if you expected this relationship to bring you joy and happiness, and it turns out that it's hard work, you're gonna be unhappy because it didn't match up with your expectations. If you expect your job to fulfill you and whatever, and then it doesn't end up happening, you find unhappiness. If you never have that expectation, you're not as unhappy because you have nothing that you're missing out on. So in life, if we can learn to expect nothing, you know, things are gonna fall through, people are gonna betray you, life is gonna suck sometimes, and then just let that be your baseline. Be okay with that, and then accept every blessing that comes your way. It's a lot healthier, and it's a lot more fulfilling way to live life, you know? So, those are the things that stuck out to me. Um, I would recommend reading the book. Um, I don't think it's a life changer. I don't think that there are principles in this book that have never been talked about before, but I do think there are good reminders um, to allow you to kind of take life and like and own it, you know? Stop living in it, but like actually, truly, wholly own your life. And that's what that's my journey right now. I'm trying to own this life that I don't have to I'm not stuck in my situations and my surroundings that I get to choose what my life looks like. Um, so it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked these and you want more of them, let me know because I'm always reading the book. I'm always doing that. But then I just figured exercise the mind, exercise the body. That is a healthy life. All right, guys. Peace out. Catch you guys in the next one.